Okay, so has your room ever looked like a mess or it looks like a place where you can't even call your bedroom? Well, I definitely have. So I found this really cool picture here. How I see my room is quite different from how my mom sees my room. So, um, I used to have a really messy room and now I, really, I don't think I have a messy room. That's because I found out that studies have proven that having a clean space will improve your concentration by a lot. So, according to BBC, cleaning actually improves mental health. The British Journal of Sports Medicine Studies found that there's just 20 minutes of sustained exercises a week, especially soothing activities such as cleaning, can alter depressive symptoms. Professor Mark Hammer, a professor that graduated in sports and science from UCL, once said, those who suffer from st stress or anxiety may be less likely to take part in physical activity in the first place. So, as you can see in this picture, this girl obviously is, is depressed and her room really reflects her mood. If you have a messy room and you're depressed, it is because it is an indicative of something that deeper is happening in your life, so you couldn't care less about cleaning your room. However, this mess does bother you and you just don't want to admit it yourself. So, I was really stressed in my early middle school years, such as 6th and 7th grade, and my room really reflected. I used to be the type of person that only cleaned my room when my friends came over. And my room, let's just say it's a little bit more messy than this person's room, and because of my messy room, I felt mentally stressed. According to psychologist Rav Ribak, if you surround yourself with a messy room, you will most likely feel mentally cluttered as well. He also found out that women with cluttered homes express higher levels of stress hormone cortisol. So if staying organized and clean save you from so much stress, why do no one clean it? There are actually a few scientific reasons, but I'm only going to state a few. The first reason might be that you have too much to declutter. The problem is with mindsets. I used to have this mindset where if I throw this away, I'll regret it in the future. And that's, that mindset kept me from throwing a lot of things away. I simply solved this problem by giving myself another mindset. I told myself if I don't throw these things I should have thrown away, then I won't be able to buy new things in the future. That mindset really pushed me to start decluttering, and that's how I solved my decluttered solution. The second problem people might have is not having enough time. Well, especially if you have like things outside from Instead of doing like cleaning your room, such as friends, sports, homework, eating or sleeping, all these things are collecting up, not letting you to, not letting you to clean your room. Well, you I simply solved this problem by giving myself a rule. I came up with this rule last year called the two minute rule. Mary Kondo, known for her con Mary method, she also came up with this rule. And basically for two minutes, you go home and you clean your room. And then I start on my homework. That rule really set the right atmosphere for me to start on my homework and that really pushed me to keep my room clean. One tip I have for you to clean your room is just to keep your room really simple. I used to have a lot of decorations everywhere around my room and that really just made things more cluttered for me. So I decided to throw away or donate a lot of the decorations. For example, I used to have six pillows on my bed and it was really hard to make my bed each morning. So I decided to donate a lot of the decorations I have and now my room if you walk into my room, my room almost looks empty because of all the decorations I donated. So I would really encourage you to keep your room as simple as possible. In conclusion, cleaning my room definitely improved my life for the better. There are, even though there are many benefits for a cleaned room, the two things that really hit me were motivation and concentration. For motivation, having a clean room not only benefited me in doing academics, sports, but it also motivated me to keep my room clean this way. Another thing is concentration. I noticed that my grades were a lot better in eighth grade than in compared to sixth and seventh grade. And I also noticed that I concentrate a lot better at home. So if you have a messy room, why not go home and clean it? Trust me, it will benefit your life for the better. Thank you for listening.